Hi everybody, my name is Brian Roberts and in this video we're going to take uh, pentatonic pattern 4 and upgrade it to diatonic pattern 4. So this is what we're going to do. Here's pentatonic pattern 4. We're going to modify that to diatonic. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. Uh, first of all, I'm in the key signature of G slash E minor and uh, I already know pattern 4. If you don't know pattern 4 pentatonic, I'll quickly teach it to you. I'm here on the 7th fret. I do a wide spacing, which just basically means 7th fret to 10th fret. And I do that for the first two strings. Okay? Then the uh, next two strings, I do 7th fret and 9th fret. I call that a short spacing. So grand total, we have two wides, two shorts. And then we kind of push over to the 8th fret, 8th fret, 10th fret, so that's a short spacing. And then it rewidens back to the 7th fret to the 10th fret. So this is assuming you know that. Okay. Um, so we can actually take this same format. We're going to use all of these notes when we upgrade pentatonic to diatonic. Pentatonic means five tones. Diatonic, I think, means an additional two. Uh, I don't know the Latin behind it, but um, at the end of the day, a diatonic is a full-blown seven-note major scale, essentially, and a pentatonic is only five of those notes. What that means on guitar is that you're basically going to add one note per string, except one of the strings will not get an additional note. Uh, the general rule is anytime you have a wide spacing, you are guaranteed to have one note inside of it, so keep that in mind. Anytime you have a short spacing, you are guaranteed to not have a note inside the short spacing. So do not play inside the short spacing. Can you hear how that doesn't sound uh, very cohesive? The other general rule is that you will get an additional note on every single string except one of them. So one of the strings has an asterisk. One of the strings will be pentatonic only. So let me just... Um, show you how to upgrade it. So the very first string is a wide spacing. Your additional note is on the 8th fret. You can play it with your middle finger. So there you go, that's the very first um, string upgraded. The next string, pentatonic, is a wide spacing. Your extra note is actually on the other side. There with your ring finger, I'm playing on the uh, ninth fret. So you got uh, 7, 8, 10, 7, 9, 10. But basically a wide spacing with the extra note on the flat side, a wide spacing with the extra note on the sharp side. Okay, the next string, you have a short spacing. And what's nice about this particular position is that the next note is just outside there on your pinky on the uh, 10th fret. Again, assuming you know pentatonic, we're just taking what we already know, which is this, and adding an extra note per string. Okay, the next string, the, uh, the G string, is your pentatonic only string. So that's only those two notes. Okay, so moving on. The next string is this um, short spacing off to the side. Well, I got good news for you. The extra note is right behind it on the uh, seventh fret. So you end up getting everything in a row when you fully flesh out this pattern. So there's your extra note, middle pinky as pentatonic per usual. And again, whatever you do on the high E string is the same as what you do on the low E string. So you just copy that. Pointer, middle pinky, uh, seventh, eighth, and tenth. So grand total, you, if I bark out fingers, you have pointer, middle, pinky, pointer, ring, pinky, pointer, ring, pinky, pentatonic only, pointer, ring, pointer, middle, pinky, pointer, middle, pinky. The reality is this pointer, middle, pinky thing, you play on three of the strings. Look, low E string, B string, high E string. And then the other strings are pointer, ring, pinky, except the one string that's uh, pentatonic only and then you don't use the pinky. So pentatonic, extra note, pentatonic, pentatonic, extra note, pentatonic, 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 extra note, 
pentatonic, pentatonic, extra note, pentatonic, 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 extra note, pentatonic. And there you go, that's pattern four fully fleshed out. Now some people call this the Phrygian position because of the note that you start on, out on. You're actually starting on the third note of the relative major scale, which puts it in this like very Spanish kind of tonality, but that's going to be for another video. Um, some people don't like the uh, fact that this has a, one of the strings has two notes, so here's your little bonus. I'll teach you the three note per string pattern. So as the name implies, you, you must play three notes per string. So uh, here's your first three notes, first three notes. Now for this one, you're gonna stretch instead of going to the next string. You're gonna stretch, then you're gonna bring your hand over and play like that. So you're basically doing a position shift, like a, like a micro position shift when you cross into the B string. So right here is the difference. You're gonna stretch with your pinky. The reason why it's called a stretch is because normally your pinky lives here, so you stretch the pinky. And then you swing your hand over for that little micro position switch. Again, anytime your hand actually physically moves, uh, especially your anchoring finger, the pointer finger, that is a position shift. So here I am in position four solidly. Now if I play the three note per string version, I'm kind of entering like uh, pattern 4.25, so something to consider. But anyway, that's how you play pattern 4 diatonic. Hope you liked this video. If you did, give a like, subscription, all that fun stuff. If you have any questions guitar related, leave them in the comments below and I'll whip up a video just for you.